Hey students, in this exercise we're going to find the magnitude of the Coulomb force between the two given particles. The first we have to see here, you know, uh, is about the direction of the force. So uh, we have uh, particles, you know, that have uh, different signs. So uh, the force between those particles is a force of attraction, you know. So we have uh, here forces of attraction between the particles, right? Uh, what else is important here now? Uh, one more detail I want to explain is about uh, the unit. In this case, uh, the charge of the particle is given in nanocoulombs. So one uh, nanocoulomb is equal to 10 to the negative 9 coulombs. The prefix uh, nano means 10 to a negative 9, right? So after emphasize these two, these two aspects, right? Now I want to show you how we do the calculation. So we say that the uh, force of Coulomb here is equals to the constant of proportionality times the uh, charge uh, of the two particles divided by the square of the distance between the particles. So if I substitute now uh, the values of the different uh, variables in this uh, formula we have you know that k is 9 times 10 to the 9 uh, newtons uh, meter square over uh, colon square times we have uh, the charge q1 of 3 nanocoulombs so would be 3 times 10 to a negative 9 uh, coulombs times uh, the charge to uh, that is 2 nanocoulombs so it's 2 times 10 to a negative 9 coulombs all divided by the square of the distance between the two particles that is one middle so uh, the first well let me tell you that if we multiply 10 to a negative 9 with 10 to the 9 uh, this would be 10 to the 0 so we eliminate this 10 to a 9 with the 10 to a negative 9 uh, so now we have uh, not that the force is equal to 9 times 3 is 27, and 27 times 2 is uh, 54. So we have 54. Uh, now uh, the unit, well, we have 10 to a negative 9, of course. And then the units we have are newtons, meter squared over colon squared, that are the units of the colon constant. And then here we have the product of colon times colon that is equal to colon square. And below then we have one middle square. What is one middle square? So we are ready to simplify now some units. So we simplify here uh, this middle square with this middle square below. Uh, we can simplify now here this colon square with this colon squares. And of course then the unit of force will be newtons. So we can say, you know, that in this case, the force is equals to uh, 54 times 10 to a negative 9 uh, newtons. So if I want to write uh, this answer in scientific notation, uh, I have to move the decimal point one place to the left. So the 54 becomes 5.4. But when you move the decimal point one place to the left, uh, now, uh, the 10 to a negative 9 becomes 10 to a negative 8. So this would be 5.4 times 10 to a negative 8 newtons. And that would be, in this case, the magnitude of the force uh, of attraction, you know, between the two given particles.